Hey, welcome to video number 165 of Walker This Way with Hazel Walker, the queen of all things. B and I and networking. I am Mark Simmons. Hazel. Yes. You are like literally six feet away from me at this moment in time. Yes. Which is pretty funny. You're just outside the door. But because it's this format works great for recording Walker This Way, we'll, we're going to stick to this format instead of stand, standing side by side. Um. So, and um, this is how you and I will engage each other. Engagement is good. Engagement is good. Hey, speaking of engagement, Hazel, it's a good segue for our topic is we've had questions lately, and I know we've covered them in the past and we still get asked the questions, is while chapters are online in any form, this b &I chapters, whether they're online, fully hybrid, or even and this comes into when people, chapter members are meeting in person and networking. How do you engage the most important people in the room being who? The visitors. The visitors. And the guests. And the guests. How do you engage them? How do we do a better job of engaging them? Those types of things. One of the first steps would be to talk to them. Just talk. You're happy to run your mouth at all other times. Why are you not running your mouth when your visitors are there? Right. Because here's what I notice about chapters. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you a story. I, uh, chapters have a tendency to talk to each other with this whole concept of your mother taught you not to talk to strangers. So let's ignore the stranger in the room, right? right? Like they're looking down, don't make eye contact. We don't know who they are, how they got here. We're just going to ignore them. And you feel that, you feel that when you come into a room. So I had a chapter. And we used to send out the survey forms after every meeting to every visitor, right? It, and it, we faxed it. Nice. And they would fill it out and send it back. And we would especially do that with chapters that were struggling. And we had one chapter, every letter came back was, I did not feel included, nor did I feel wanted. Like it was constant. They talked to each other. They don't, didn't, no one talked to me or they act like a click and no one wanted me. So they were getting this constantly. And I went back to the chapter and one of the words that was used often was unfriendly. This group is unfriendly. Mm -hmm. So I went back to the chapter and I had the conversation with them about being perceived as unfriendly. And they're like, but, but we're really very friendly. I went, well, how is it they don't feel friendly? And they're like, we go, we have social events together. We support each other when we're having events. We go to each other's birthday parties and cookouts. And I go, yes, with each other, but not with the, the strangers in the room. You're ignoring, you're ignoring them, potential clients and potential applicants. So they get, members have a tendency to get caught up in their own conversations. And that's even worse online. So online, it requires that the leadership team um, engage the visitors right off the bat. Like they start asking the visitors some questions, you know, tell us a little bit about your business at, during that first 15 minutes. And if they're going to put them in breakout rooms, you got to make sure you put them in breakout rooms with people who will talk to them. Right. Because I've been sitting in breakout rooms where the members say nothing. Yeah. It's silence. It's awkward. I think I told you the story recently. I, I was put, uh, the chapter did a great job of breaking everyone out into the breakout rooms for a networking part at the beginning. But I was in a breakout room with no members of the chapter. <laughs> just you and the visitors. Just me and the visitors. Yeah. Well, it's not my chapter. I was, you know. Yeah, that's not. If you if the if the chapters would remember this, it might change their mindset a little bit. The interview process for a new applicant starts the moment they walk into the meeting or dial into the meeting. Like the moment they walk in, if you notice that there's someone that's going to be in your contact sphere, you need to be interviewing them right away. How long you've been in business? How many employees do you have? What do you love about your business? Right? You just, because it's going to be in your power team or contact sphere, you're the first people that should be talking to every visitor that's going to fit in your sphere. Right. Right? 
because that is the beginning of the interview process. And I have a woman right now who's wanting a refund because she can only do meetings nights and weekends and things like that. But what I learned about this particular person, and I think we have a couple of those going on, but the one I was working on, she's got a full-time job. She's trying to join a chapter that she can't really participate in because she's got a full-time job. So she can only do her business nights and weekends. Well, that should have been found out while she was a visitor and you were engaging with her. And people would have known not to do that. So membership committee, your job really starts the moment the visitor walks in the door. Right. So we understand why it's important. And there's a lot of pieces to why it's important to engage. I think we want the question we get asked is how, what are the ways? And we talk about the breakout, have a breakout room, but what does that mean? What should they be doing in the breakout rooms? Other than the obvious of, yeah, just engage and talk, which we know. And, you know, for people who are networkers, they find it difficult to do networking, interestingly. Could, could you not, you just like, if you're in a breakout room, maybe we've got this little tool. I don't know, many people don't know about this tool. It's kind of a secret. But if you used it, here come. you would probably get some good information. And it's a thing that we call the GAINS profile, G-A-I-N-S. Like, what if you had a visitor and you said, hey, tell us what some of your goals are. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us, what are, you, what are the proudest things you've accomplished in your business? It requires that the members take action, not right. the visitor. And the GAINS profile is a perfect way to have a conversation with the visitor. Yeah. What are some accomplishments that you're really proud of? What other networks do you belong to? Yeah. Right? I know when we're doing the workshops, the question, and those that have done our workshops with us know um, there's the questions that are asked as part of the workshop. And then the bonus questions, the bonus two bonus questions we ask are this. Number one, who are the most important people in the room and who's the meeting for? Now everybody knows it's visitors. Number two is where do we as BNI members do business with each other? That's one to ones. But the the point is the visitors are the most important people in the room at that moment during a meeting. Mm -hmm. And you should be booking one. To... When I was visitor host, I did a one to one with every visitor every time. Every visitor every time. Yeah. Even when I wasn't a visitor host, I would do it because they either became clients, became friends, became contacts, may, gave me business and referrals all the time Right. because I did the one-to-one. -one. So, so there's nothing stopping a member from doing a one-to-one -one with a visitor. You're adding people to your network. You're expanding your, your network. So you can do the engagement. Remember in the book, we do the open three, close yeah. three. Think of the breakout rooms as your three people standing around talking to each other and engage the visitor by asking them gains questions. Right. I have, I have seen some, some, I've been in some great breakouts for the networking before or after a meeting where, there, where the, there's questions put into the breakout rooms mm -hmm. and then you're answering the questions, but it's really aimed at engaging the visitors. It's not what you do this weekend kind of right. things. It's the kind of questions you're talking about. So having those are a great way. And I think if we're going to look at giving some direction is don't not do the things because other people aren't doing them. Be the one in your chapter that does it. Be the one that leads the way and is engaging the visitors and asking them questions. And asking a visitor a question isn't, yes, it's about finding commonality, and so if I say to Hazel something and I find something in, uh, in common with Hazel, it's not then now I'm going to glom onto it and make it about me. Hey, so do I. Let me tell you about me now. No, it's still going to be about Hazel, my visitor, or the visitor in the room. Yep. So being conscious of these conversations. And if, if I'm the one that invited you, then I'm going to request to be put in the same breakout room as you with a couple other people so I can introduce you. Hey, um, by the way, Vice President, could you put me in with David and Sue? Because that would be perfect for Mark to meet them. Right? Now I can make yeah. connections for you. Yeah, I think we've forgotten that even 
in person or online, the first impression is still key. And it's both ways here. It's, it's not only the first impression of a chapter member to the visitor, that visitor is making a first impression of all of you. Yep, they're walking they away. And, and when I ask the question, when I do trainings, I will ask the question quite often, um, tell me, why did you join the chapter you're in right now? And they will always say, it's the one, the, they're the ones that ask me to join. Right. Yeah. Somebody asked me, right? Someone, they talked to me, they engaged with me, and then they asked me if I'd like to be part of their group. Right. You know, uh, Hazel, you talk, uh, we've talked in the past and, and you've brought up things that we do are simple, but, but they may not be easy, simple and uneasy. Engaging in the topic of engaging visitors, it's one of the things that is simple and easy. It is. Just, just do it. Just be, just be friendly. Just be friendly. Yeah. Talk to them. Right? Even if, even if you ask, hey, how's your business doing right now? How's business for you? Because many businesses are struggling. Ask, how's business for you right now? How can we help you? Yeah. And, and you want to put it in perspective. If you, if you're if that person across from you was your client, that you've gone to meet with them and they they want to do business with you, you are going to make everything about them now and ask the questions. It's the same thing. Same. These yeah. are all potential clients for you. Yep. Just be friendly. Use Gain's profile. Make it easy. Yeah. So uh, you know, Hazel, I, I'm I'm pretty happy we were able to take the topic of how to engage visitors, which is really just engage them get it done move on and we've made a whole video about it so you understand why you understand how now it's up to you all just do it just just do it all right um as per usual if you have any topics that you want to know about this particular topic came from kyle menard and bni meridian on vancouver island but if you have any topics here's the email send it in to us we'd love to discuss it more we would till next time hazel or five seconds from now Bye. Bye.